wrestling is one of the hardest sports that's ever been made. And it's for many reasons. But for the reasons that I'm going to explain to you today are the reasons why I believe that it's the hardest sport. <laughs> so, it all starts with just the simple reason that wrestling is competed internationally. So it's not just like how in high school, when you played against another school, it was another school that's in the same class as you, or just things like that. Wrestling, once you get out of college, you compete internationally with it. So you could be in America and wrestle someone from Russia, Romania, just some some crazy place where, I mean, that dude's trained his entire life to wrestle, and he's done nothing else. So, the first wrestling matches ever recorded were in uh, the Roman Olympics, or Greek Olympics. Um, the reason that they had the Olympics was to please Zeus. And the reason that they wrestled was to show the strength that they've had here on Earth. So Zeus doesn't think that they're weak. They wrestled on the hottest day that they had all the Olympics. And they covered them in oil, put them in a sand pit, and had them wrestle. And... The reason that they wrestled was, like I said, was to show Zeus that they're not weak and to also bring pride to their family. Like, hey, I'm the best in Greece and I won the wrestling portion of the Olympics. So now that you've heard about the history of wrestling, I'm going to talk to you about the daily or not even daily, the weekly cycle of a wrestler so i used to wrestle and usually i'd wake up at least two or three times a week at 5 a.m and go on a half half a mile to a mile run two to three times a week before school and then you'd go to, and then before school, we'd have morning weights. So we'd go work out and lift in the morning. Then you'd go through school. And then after school, you'd go to either practice, which was two hour, two and a half hours to three hours in a 110 degree room with the heater on. And you're, wrestling the whole time, just non-stop. Or you have a duel that you have to make weight for, and a duel is just like a football game. Like, it's like it's just a school versus another school. They call it a duel. And, or you have a tournament. Tournament days are rough. You wake up earlier than you usually do, because you have to, you have to, most of the time you travel. And you sit there throughout the day. The food isn't very good. And it's just a very long day. And most of the time, you have to come back for the second day for the finals. And so the physical and mental demands that a wrestler is required to have. The physical demands are you have to make weight. And if you don't make weight, that, that's a whole different story by itself. And then the mental demands. And what I mean by mental demands is like, let's say that you are close on weight. You can't really afford to eat anything that day because if you do, then you're not making weight. And if you don't make weight, not only do you forfeit the match, but then your coach is mad at you. 
your team is mad at you and it's really just a bummer to the people that came to watch so and uh, that's a whole another story on why it's a bad idea to make coach mad but so let's say that like i said you're close to weight and you can't really afford to eat anything so you decide to just sit through the day and sip on one water bottle and that's all you have to eat till after you weigh in so that you have to be they say wrestling isn't a sport and it's a lifestyle and that i completely agree with because no other no other high school sport do you cut weight and force yourself not to eat so the dieting portion of wrestling, like I said, it's just, you know, if you're close on weight, don't eat or just eat good and keep the physique that you have. And then the best thing of all, cutting weight. You, you go to practice, 110 degree room with two pairs of sweatpants, or not even that. You go in with a trash bag on or a sauna suit, two pairs of sweatpants, a long sleeve shirt, a hoodie, and a beanie. And you go and you have a two and a half hour practice in that. And if you're still overweight by the end of practice, you um you get to stay after practice and continue to cut weight, which is so much fun. And I've walked out of the wrestling room sometimes and you hold like when you hold your hand out in the shower and water just drips down your hand. That's what it looks like after practice. But now I'm going to talk about the disease and just the tolls that wrestling takes on your body. So disease. There's so many different diseases that you can get. Um cauliflower ear, ringworm, just all bacterial diseases. Uh, and the physical toll that wrestling takes on your body. Like I said, you sometimes you wake up early in the morning, go on a run, go lift weights, go to school, and go to practice, and then go home and maybe eat five crackers and a bottle of water. And that's what you're supposed to go on throughout the day. And then again, you're just mentally drained from a lack of food and maybe small amounts of water and little sleep while trying to maintain being a passing student so that all the time that you're putting into cutting weight is, isn't for naught. And then also sometimes people having jobs. So they have to maintain all of that that I've talked about and then a, a, a job, which is absolutely insane. I don't know how they do it. But next time you think about someone talking about wrestling, don't think about WWE. And also don't think about two sweaty guys. That's it.